Hello everyone, Pahamar here with today's episode of Let's Mod Reboot. Today's episode, episode 4, we will be going over uh, resources and assets, uh, where you'll be putting them, um, and a little bit of information about that. This should be a pretty light episode, so let's, uh, let's dig into it. The previous episode, we set up your mod class. Uh, we briefly went over the information you need to set for your mod, uh, the instance of your mod, and the three generally most important events, uh, event phases your mod will care about. So, uh, In the last episode, we started on this source main uh, file structure here. Now we're going to get into the resources side of things here. So last episode, we set the uh, Java directory here as a sources uh, directory. We are also going to do it with the resources one now. I'll tell you why. Because now we want to start adding in our files. So uh, now would probably be a good time as well to bring up the uh, actual project itself. But reboot, source, main, Java, resources. So Java here, we start into com, Pahamar, let's mod reboot. Resources, there's a very defined um, file structure that Minecraft looks into to find things related to your mod. So let's get into that. Okay, so inside of the resources folder, what's go what goes in there? The very first thing you need to do is you need to add a directory in here called assets. Inside of assets is another directory that is your mod ID. So here Let's mod reboot. So you'll see if we refresh, synchronize this, you'll see assets, let's mod reboot. So let's go back to that directory. Resources, assets, let's mod reboot. What this is doing is this is mimicking the asset structure that uh, Minecraft is using so that when this is loaded in, it looks like it's in the same spot it looks for in the class path. So. Uh, the mod ID is important because all of the things that get loaded in are actually referenced by your mod. Uh, so this is how Minecraft knows that it's your file that's named textures.png as opposed to uh, my file that's named textures.png. So inside of Let's Mod Reboot, there's three folders, oh, not a shortcut, folders that Minecraft looks for. There is a lang folder. There is a sounds folder, and there is a textures folder. They're fairly self-descriptive. Lang is where you will put your language localization files, and we'll get into that in a later episode. Sounds are where you put your sound files. We'll get into that in a later episode. And textures is where you put your textures. And we'll kind of touch on that this episode. Inside of your textures folder, Minecraft will look for two specific folders when it loads things up. We'll look for a blocks folder, and it will look for a items folder. You can probably guess what goes into these, because these are textures. Minecraft will look for your block textures in blocks, and Minecraft will look for your item textures in items. So what other uh, directories would you normally have in here? So let's go back up to the Let's Mod Reboot one. Inside of here, uh, I normally have another folder I like to call models. This is where I would put any um, model files that I want to load into my mod. We'll talk about models in another episode. This is a lot of um, setting up the structure, the important things later on. So it's important to do this now. So that's why we're not actually like diving into putting models and textures and stuff in here right now. Minecraft won't load this by default. I'll show you later on uh, when we talk about models, how to load in from there. And inside of textures, I normally put a GUI texture in there as well. Um, as well as, uh, no, that's, that should be good for, for now. 
So uh, once again, Minecraft won't specifically look here for your GUI textures. This is where you'll have the textures for your different in-game um, graphical user interfaces. Um, but I like to put it here, and when we talk about GUIs, this is where I will point my textures to. So come back here, and we were to synchronize. We will now see all these new folders. So uh, that's the basic file structure. These are the containers that you'll be putting your files in. Uh, so for example, lang, once again, is where you put your localization files. So um, if you were to have your English US localization in here or your Russian one, uh, models is where I put my models and you can reference that in some of my other projects and see how I've done it. Sounds are where you'll put any special sound effects you want to load in. And textures uh, is where your blocks and your items and your GUI textures go. So pretty self-explanatory. We don't have anything to put in there right now, so we'll just leave that empty. Uh, but I think uh, we should probably talk about the MC mod info file. So why don't we talk about that now? So your MC mod info file, let's, uh, let's load up Minecraft again so we can uh, reference this again. Because this is also a fairly uh, simple thing to touch on, and this is um, something else you would put inside of your, uh, your resources folder. So an MC mod info file is a descriptive file. Uh, it is a JSON uh, formatted file uh, that, uh, and let me turn off the sound for right now that describes um, who's written your mod, a little bit about it, it gives you the option of a picture, etc. So, Minecraft Forge comes with three mods that already load. The Minecraft Coder Pack, which is actually what decompiles and lets us make our own mods for Minecraft. Forge Mod Loader, which is what loads the mods. And Minecraft Forge, which is that API compatibility layer thinger. You can see with the Minecraft Coder Pack, we get this cool picture, get the title, we get a version, the ID, uh, there's credits, we can name authors, there's a URL, uh, there's the idea of uh, listing out any child mods, and a little bit of information about it. When we look at ours, we don't get anything like that. You can see Forge Mod Loader and Forge, other they don't have pictures, but they do have text. The little blurb here is saying, ask your mod author to provide a mod MC mod info file. So as the developer, we need to specify this file uh, that describes for our users, if they were to click on our mod in here, uh, what it does, uh, what it's used for. So uh, why don't I show you what that file looks like? Okay, so to show you what this file looks like, we need to add our MC mod info file to our resources folder. So we're going to click on resources, new file. It is going to be called mcmod.info. We're going to start with an empty uh, file. I'm just going to copy in a blank template for this and we'll work with that. Uh, because it's JSON, the formatting is very important. Uh, so when you're working on your own mods, feel free to copy uh, an, a working MC mod info from someone else's mod and just modify the information as necessary. It's the safest way to make sure you edit this. So uh, JSON is just basically a way that you can uh, encode a Java a uh, bit of information inside of a specially formatted string. So here you can see a lot of things we've already talked about before. Uh, mod ID, name, description, version, the Minecraft version, uh, URL you can go to to get more information, update URL, a list of authors, credits, local file, screenshots, parent dependencies. We're going to go over the ones that just really matter to us right now. So once again, we need to specify our mod ID. So this lets Forge Mod Loader know that, hey, this MC mod info file, it pertains to our mod, because here's the ID for it. The name for the mod is let's mod reboot. The description, um, so you can see here, I'm just adding it into the, uh, the empty parentheses here. The description, this is just a small bit of text for the user to understand um, what it does. So, Pahamar's Let's Mod Reboot Series. Uh, read the source to, no, not read the source, follow along on YouTube. 
The version for the mod is 1.0. The Minecraft version is 1.7.2. We don't have a URL where people can go to to get more information. This update URL, this is a non-functioning line. Don't worry about this, just leave it blank. The author list, this is uh, the list of authors that work on the mod. So we only have one for now, so we're going to say Pahamar. If you were to have multiple ones, you just have comma separated ones. So let's say um, Direwolf20. So in our MC mod info, if we were to do that, it would show up two. You can just keep adding on ones. Uh, Minecraft CPW. This is the general format for it, but because it's only me for this, it's Pahamar. Credits to, to all my patrons. I love you. The logo file, uh, this is a line that would actually allow us to specify what, uh, where we could find that picture to show up. Uh, a logo for an MC mod info file is a 256 by 256 maximum PNG file uh, image uh, to load into that space. 256 by 256 is the maximum size. It can be 256 pixels wide by 48 tall. Um, you can play in that range, but no larger than that 256 by 256. We don't have a logo file right now, uh, so we will just leave that blank. I'll show you how to use that in the future. Screenshots. Sadly, this is another line that doesn't work. It, it loads nothing. Parent is something that we don't need to worry about right now. Uh, this is where you would say this mod uh, is the child mod of this other mod, and this would be a list. Uh, no, this would just be one, uh, and it would reference the mod ID for your parent mod, but we don't have a parent mod, uh, so this is a whole bunch of me explaining something you don't need to worry about. Uh, also, this mod has no dependencies, so I'm going to save this, and I'm going to load up Minecraft. And we will see, once this is loaded up, doo -doo -doo. So when we go into mods, let's mod reboot. You see the version changed because we specified it here. Now we have a little bit more information. So we can see here's the version uh, and here's the, um, this is the version that we actually specified inside of our let's mod reboot right here. Let's go back to the Minecraft. The mod ID is let's mod reboot. The credits to all my patrons, I love you. The authors are Pahamar. Uh, we don't have a URL. There are no child mods for this mod. And the description, Pahamar's Let's Mod Reboot Series, follow along on YouTube. There we go. We've now given some descriptive information. Like I said, and if we had a logo file, we could actually have a picture in here. So we'll have that in the future, just not this episode. I don't have a picture ready for this. So this is the very, very, very high level basic rundown of what your resources folder uh, structure needs to be. So once again, high level inside of resources, you want to make sure uh, that this is a source directory. Once again, I did that by mark directory as it doesn't show up here, uh, but I marked it as a sources root. Inside of there, you have assets. So resources, assets, your mod ID has to be the next directory. Language, lang, models, sounds, blah, blah, blah. You've obviously followed it along up to this point, so I trust that you've gathered it from now. So that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode should be coming out in a couple of days, so I am looking forward to seeing you guys then. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, I believe we're going to be getting started into the code very shortly, so that's very exciting. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you next time. And until then, this is Palmar. Um, Take it easy.